So if you're trying to create stars in Blender, there's a few really easy ways to get some cool looking stars in Blender. So one really easy way to create a star in Blender is to press Shift A and go here to Mesh and you can add a circle. And then right after you add the circle, before you click away or move it around, you can click down here on the Add Circle Settings. So just click on the arrow there to open it up. And I wanna create a five pointed star. So if you wanna create a five pointed star, then you can add double the vertices. So for a five pointed star, I wanna add 10 vertices. So right here on the vertices, you can just type in 10, and then you can close the add circle settings. So I'll now go to top view by hitting the seven on the numpad, and I'll hit tab to go into edit mode. So now what I can do is start at the top here, and I can select every other vertex. So what I'll do is skip the top one, and I'll select the second one, and then I can skip the next one, and then hold down the shift key and select this one here, then skip the next one, select this one here, and skip that one and select this one here, and this one here. So we have every other vertex selected. Then I'll just hit S to scale, and I can bring this way down, and you can see we are already have the shape of the star. And then you can select the entire mesh by hitting the A key, and you can press the F key to fill the faces. So then if you want to change the size of the star, you can select all of the outer vertices, and you can make the star more pointy by just scaling it. Or you can select the inner vertices here, and you can scale that up if you want the star to be a bit thicker. And then if you select everything with the A key, you can hit E to extrude, and you can bring it down on the Z axis, and you can see now the star has some thickness. So that's one way to create a star in Blender, but there's another really cool way to create stars in Blender by using a built-in Blender add-on. So what I'll do is click on Edit, and then I'm gonna to go to Blender's User Preferences. So here in Blender's User Preferences, I'm gonna click over here on Add-ons, and then if you go here to the search, you can search for Extra, and I'm gonna turn on the Add Mesh Extra Objects add-on. So just click on the check mark, it is built into Blender, so you can just hit the check mark there, and then you can close the user preferences. So you can now press Shift A, and you can go here to Mesh, and you can see there are gonna be all these extra objects here. So I'll go to Mesh, and I'm gonna go down here to Extras, and then I can choose the Simple Star. So it's gonna add a star for you, and again, before you click away or move the star around, you can click here in the corner to open up the Simple Star settings. So you can drag this value here to change the amount of points. So I'll just go with like a six pointed star, then you can drag the outer radius and the inner radius, and you can also drag the height to make it thicker or thinner. And then also you can change the location and the rotation of the star. Now if you want to make the ends of the star pointy, then you can select this vertex here, and then hold down the shift key and select the other vertex in the center. Then what you can do is press Control i to invert the selection, and you can then hit S to scale, and you can scale it down on the z-axis, and you can make the star much thinner on the edges. So I'll just place that there, and I can go back to object mode, and you can see we now have a really cool star. And then if you want to make the edges a little bit smoother on the star, you can go here to the modifier properties, you can click on add modifier, you can go to the search, and you can add the bevel modifier, and then right here on the limit method, I'm just going to change this to none so there's no limit method, and then I can turn up the segments to make the bevel smoother, and I can also drag the amount right here. And then I'll just use the object context menu and I'll shade that smooth, and we now have a really fancy star. And another way to add a bevel to the star is to just go into edit mode and select everything, and then you can press Control B, and you can drag your mouse in and out to just add a manual bevel there, and then you can scroll your mouse wheel to add more cuts. So maybe I'll just make kind of like a bubbly star, so I'll scroll my mouse wheel, make more cuts, and then just click to place that there. And now if I go back to object mode, I can just shade the object smooth, and we have another cool star. And also I think I will press Control 1, and that's just going to give the star a subsurf modifier, and now we have another cool bubbly 3D star. And if you want to make the edges of the star come together into a point, you can again select this vertex here, and then shift select the bottom vertex, and you can press Control i to invert the selection, and then you can hit S to scale, and for my star I need to hit Z to scale it down on the Z axis, and then you can type 0 and then enter. And so that is going to squish both of the loops together, and then we have some vertices which are overlapping, so what I need to do is press the M key to merge, and I'm going to click by distance. So you can see now Blender has gotten rid of those extra overlapping vertices, so now we don't have any overlapping vertices. So then again, on this object here, I could select everything. I could press Control-B to add a nice bevel there, go back to object mode, and I can shade that smooth. 
And if you're trying to create stars in Blender, you may be using these to create some Christmas or holiday scenes. And so if you're creating Christmas scenes in Blender, you may be interested in checking out my Blender Christmas tutorial playlist, where I show you how to create many Christmas artworks in Blender. So I'll have a link in the description to that playlist if you'd like to watch some Christmas themed tutorials. But I hope you found this helpful, and thanks for watching.